do. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not Michael. I'm not Michael either, so it all works out. Um, so location. Let's let's talk a little bit about location. We'll talk a little bit also about the uh, how that's going to impact future cities, the, the types of maps we'll need, and so on and so forth. I'll make a call for questions uh, when we have a few minutes left. I may not be able to see you, but if we have questions, we have the two microphones there. So um, let's get started. Um, so you know, back in 2010, I went to Nokia World in London, had a nice chat with some of the Nokia execs, and uh, one of them told me, you know, location for us uh, is kind of like the next big user interface. And I, I kind of had to think about that for a second and sort of say, well, what do you mean by that? And I'm curious if that's still a valid point to that, Nokia, and uh, really what it means today. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good starting point. Um, you know, the way I would frame it is, is going back, you know, sort of to the beginning of maps, right? The beginning of, beginning of, of cartography and even, you know, sort of the Babylonians might have been the first to chisel maps into sort of representations of the rocks and, and stones. And then I think, you know, in the, you have the first geological maps you know, by you know, William Smith, did all the first ge geological maps, and you had, you know, the, the London Tube, um, you know, which is kind of a, a, very, a very abstract in the 20s. Uh, you know, McDonald Gill did these very abstract representations that sort of abstracted the physical location and just drew kind of the map. So you're probably all familiar with the London Tube maps. And then fast forward to kind of, you know, what we're familiar with today, I don't know, get maps, Google Maps. And these are essentially digitized tiles of sort of paper Cartesian maps that are just sort of put up on a screen. And frankly, they're, they're kind of unimaginative. And so I think when you think about you know, what is location all about you know, in, in a mobile world where we're wearing things and carrying things, et cetera, it's about connecting and sort of bridging us between the virtual world and the real, real world. And, and I think a map is really just a way to guide you through your life. And so, so what we like to think about is, is, is creating maps for life, maps that guide you, but not necessarily these sort of flat, at times, sort of unimaginative things with lines and squiggles on. That's one interface that works in some certain instances, but that's not really what location is all about. So, and you, you guys have thought about location differently for a while, and it's evident in some of the products um, through your city lens, the augmented reality app, for example, is, is a, a perfect, <coughs> perfect example of that, I think. Um, so, so the thinking forward, uh, maybe to where we have, you know, large urbanization, larger cities, what's the what's the impact to to that user interface of location? Well, you know, if, if you look at the big patterns by in the middle of the century, something like 85% of all people are, are, are projected to be living in or tightly dense urban environments. And just the logistics of, you know, managing those cities, creating smarter cities is, is a huge challenge. And behind that, behind navigation, again, finding things, behind operating those cities, you need sort of a model of the real world. So when you think about, you know, the, the way we have a sort of simple worldview, which is, you know, we, we run a, a cloud, which is a location cloud, and and uh, it it it's you know if you're gonna 